Hey, how you doing today? Welcome to MuscleMotorCars.com. Just trying to show you where I am today with the 32 Chrysler Imperial. Um, had to do a little moving. That's why you haven't heard uh, from me in a while. Uh, just moved to a different location in the house. Uh, trying to get my own space to do my own thing right here. And this is where we are, okay? Uh, the cream is what I went with, with the color of the body. And the uh, chassis, I did it in red. I had a little runoff on the uh, running boards right here. Those are going to be painted anyway, but... Uh, I had them taped, but uh, that didn't help. But as you can see, we have gotten to a point where we're almost done with it because it, there isn't much after that. Uh, as you can see, the seat color in here uh, kind of caught the olive gold. Uh, we got the uh, convertible roof here that matches the seats. Okay. Gonna look like that, okay? And then we got the uh, seat, the rumper seat, right here. Goes in the back, back here. It's gonna be also gold, olive gold, okay? And then we have the engine. It's gonna be a green, uh, emerald green, okay? And then uh, we got to have the uh, spare tires that we're going to put on there. These guys are going to be uh, located right here. Okay, got to clean all this up, but so don't worry about that. And then the interior is going to be also olive gold. Okay, and that's pretty much uh, the gist of it uh, as far as colors are going to be other than the chrome and the lights and all of the details are going to be all in chrome, okay? And I just wanted to kind of give you a quick update of where I am. So it's going to be a pretty nice looking car. I never did a 30s, so... I have to kind of do do a little bit of a, a mad, uh, research to see what would be the best way to do it. And I didn't want to do them like the ones I've seen on uh, YouTube. Uh, not necessarily YouTube, but on the internet. I can make it look nice and pretty, but I wanted to just go ahead and try to do something a little bit different. And I saw one with this kind of color scheme, but I tried to maybe alter it a little bit with the interior and everything. So, with that being said, um, I wanted to give you a quick look at everything, okay? And then, uh, with that being said, I wanted to give you a quick update on the um, stash I had here. I got this guy here because it was... Um, it reminded me of uh, the old Pinto I had back in uh, the 80s that was uh, <clears throat> our primary car, my wife and I, when we had our little kids, because our 72 uh, Nova had went out on us, so I had to find something quick, so I got this guy for like $100 in, uh, in 19, I want to say... 80 something I want to say 80 81 82 I want to say 82 and then uh, the good thing is as you can see four cylinders didn't burn much gas and uh, this is a four cylinder engine okay so I never had any problems with it uh, kept I kept it oiled it's kind of the engine right there you can see the exhaust on it so Never had any problems with this car. It rusted out. The floorboards underneath rusted out, but the engine was still running. I think I traded traded this guy in 
for a I do believe no I sold it I sold this and then I uh, rented a vehicle took a vacation to Tennessee my wife and I went to visit family her family and ended up liking it down there and we moved to Tennessee I got hired while I was on vacation I had to hurry up back up move back up put my stuff in storage I only had four days and then uh, ended up moving to Tennessee for about five six years and then uh, it got into quality control and everything and then uh, pretty much that's when my uh, career took off after the military okay and ended up moving uh, back up here um, when I got called with another major communication company and stayed there for quite a few years and you know the rest is history so to speak so that, that's what that one reminds me of. This guy here reminds me of my father. He had a car just like this. A 73, a 63 um, Galaxy 500. And uh, he had this one for about 10 years. I can remember this very well. And that's my only, um, my earliest memory of it. it first car and this car was quick it was pretty kept it clean and I think he kept this for about 10 years and we had it on the west side and when we, we were living on the west side and he uh, ended up trading this guy in after about 10 years for a 72 Buick Sabre but as you can see it's very nice car but you wouldn't think this car had that much power but it did here's the stock engine right here so it wasn't like it it wasn't written race ready but you get three all three ways you can build it I do believe these are stock tires you get options with that along with the hood options so it's very cool uh, I'm gonna enjoy this one this reminds me of my dad and then uh, the Galaxy 500. So I found it finally. And I got the Grand Torino here. I saw this guy uh, and I wanted to get it because it reminded the fastback. I was doing a 60s build and I just saw it and I kind of dug this one. So I went out here and got it. Okay. As you can see, you got the velocity scoops on it. Okay. Look at them plush seats. Very nice. And then, uh, of course, hood scoop. Looks like slicks right here. And radios here. Very nice. Fast back, of course, meaning that the back of the vehicle was a fast back because the wind resistance came here to your windshield shot up the windshield and then shot straight back down and out that's what that's what the fastback is a slanted rear end window right here that's what make it a fastback Okay, and next I'm going to show you '69. Uh, oh, '66 uh, Chevy. In case you guys didn't know, I'm kind of partial to Novas too. I had I had a couple Novas, uh, seventy one, the one that used to get my wife in trouble because everybody wanted to race her in it, and then the uh, 
72 that ended up going out on me because I think the floorboard caught a fire and then the uh, we had to get rid of it but my because I had young kids then uh, so we ended up uh, getting a Nova and uh, getting rid of that guy for a pen for that pinto I just showed you so I'm gonna do this guy too no hurry for this one because I did a Yinko already uh, and that was uh, my was the exact model of my uh, it wasn't my model my car wasn't a Yanko but it was that same body style so, so I did it already and it kind of the style and the way and the color scheme of the car I had. So this is uh, I just kind of caught my eye and I just wanted to get this guy here because I like Novas. I just think they uh, they just built like the tanks, the older Novas, and they they race ready to me. To with just with minor adjustments. Then I got this guy here. Reminded me of my brother, uh, who uh, my younger one. He's uh, seen driving these every now and then. At least I can recall seeing him in one. If it wasn't that, it was something similar to it, or maybe I just wanted him to drive it. I don't know, but he, uh, for his occupation, he was always in uh, something like this. If I'm not mistaken, he'll correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not worried about that. But I got this because it kind of reminded me of him. Ah, so, and that's a 2021 Charger. So, with that being said, uh, thank you guys for joining me on MuscleModelCars.com. Gave you a little progress, as you can see. The surroundings look a little different. I had to move a little bit uh, to get my own private space uh, to, to kind of take my time with you guys and kind of tell you what I'm doing and uh, try to get quiet. But now I got more quiet. Now my phone wants to ring. So I had to silence it. So sorry about that. But I'll silence it from this point forward. And uh, we will... Next time get uh, be done with that, I do believe that uh, 32, I got to go get all my other stuff and figure out where I want to put it and then uh, uh, get started with the 63 Galaxy 500 and then uh, kind of bring all my stuff get it together how I want it uh, in this new space I'm in. So uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us on MuscleModelCars.com. Please hit the subscribe button, and I'm going to let you go pretty quick this time because i got a lot of stuff I need to do to uh, finish up where I am. But it's worth, it's worth it now because i got more space to room, uh, to roam, and to room <laughs> for rooming uh, uh, with my... Uh, deals that I've done. I can do it all here in privacy and in, in a complete quiet, for now anyway, until someone feels like I'm, I'm, I guess, got too much free time. So, so I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, we'll see you next time on MuscleModelCars.com. And I also wanted to tell you guys, I'm trying to weather or, or get into weathering uh, the, of look on all the cars so it doesn't look so uh, I want to say plastic I want stuff to look more realistic so I'm getting into that so I'm gonna see how 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 well I can do that so that'll be my next uh, venture and with my next model especially in the 60s and stuff like that you know you can't find them in a junkyard looking pristine and if you want to do it with pristine, then, you know, that's cool. But I want to try to do something where it's not so pristine. 
uh, I want it to be uh, a challenge to kind of make it look old, okay? Older. Some guys got it perfected. I've watched some videos, and they really are good with it. But you got to have all the stuff, the right stuff, and I don't think I have that. So I'll let you guys know. And I'll let you see how I do it. I'm going to get started with that after I do this. Uh, one build here with my father. I'm going to do that. And then that uh, 21, that 2021 Charger. I got to do that nice and clean. Because that's just a sweet car. Um, I don't want to disrespect that. It's got that Hemi in it. So we're going to go with that. And then we will... Uh, get into trying to weather some stuff and make it look a little bit warmer okay all right so we'll see you next time on musclemodelcars.com please hit the subscribe button and we will get back with you when we're finished with that 32 chrysler imperial and uh hopefully that'll be done within a uh, within the next two weeks okay so so long and have a good day and we will catch you next time Bye-bye.